want to build yourself out of your business eventually and get out of the day-to-day -day grind? Well, you've probably had a look at an organizational chart before because this is your ticket to freedom. Today, what I want to show you is how to connect that org chart into your future revenue levels and have a try and imagine what your team looks like at that future revenue level to help connect the dots to build yourself out. Let me show you what I mean. Okay, so this is a few example org charts. I'm assuming you've seen plenty of them before. It just shows who does, what the departments are, who reports to each other. It's pretty simple stuff. What I like to do is actually connect this to your revenue levels and look into the future to imagine what the business will look like. Let me show you what I mean. And this is basically the journey I try and take my clients on is from a few hundred grand up to 5 million and beyond and help them see that path to get there. The anchor benchmark that is underpinning all of this is that your wage, your total wage bill for the company should be around 45 to 65% of your overall revenue, which leaves you enough margin to cover the rest of the things in the business. So now I wanna show you the story of an agency who grew to this mark and show you how the team evolved whilst connecting it to their wage levels. So year one, startup mode. Founders underpaying themselves 60K a year. They've got a marketing specialist all rounder on 70K and a designer developer probably on a part-time basis. That's the overall business. The wage is taking up 53% of their revenue and it ticks along okay. Now let's have a look at year two. The business has grown. We're now doing about half a mil a year, which is great. That's about 41 or 42K a month. The CEO and founder has given themselves a bit of a pay rise from 60 to 75K. They brought on their first account manager and the marketing specialist is still on board and the designer and developer has upped their hours and then they're now drawing 60K from that business. So a nice little team that's forming at this half a million dollar business. Let's go fast forward to year three. This is where some real growth is happening. You can see we've hit that magic $1 million mark, which I know is a massive goal for a lot of founders out there. So if you're close to it, good luck. I hope you hit there soon. At this level, you can see we've got some more options, right? CEO founders now giving themselves a pay rise from 75 up to 100K. We're starting to get closer to a market-based wage for them. We now actually have some departments forming. We've split out the SEO department. We've got a PPC department. There's a social media coordinator coming on board and we actually have some web devs as well or a designer and a developer. So we can start to see the nuts and bolts of a bigger organization forming at this $1 million mark. You can see wage is actually taking up 64% of revenue at this level, which is normal. And there's usually a profitability hit and the wage bill increases as you're trying to navigate this growth curve. You can see also that we're starting to build out an operations manager and maybe a part-time finance manager, maybe a fractional CFO to help guide you on this journey. So you can see the overall wage bill here of 640K, which is just adding up all of their wages, is taking up 64% of revenue. Let's fast forward to year four. At year four, we're doing two and a half million a year, which is a fantastic level, but you're right in the valley of death as you try and scale to that $5 million mark. You can see that the team is really starting to build out. So if we go back to year four, we had the beginnings of some departments up here, but now you can see that the SEO has become a manager. We've hired an analyst. PPC also has an analyst underneath them. And the social media manager now has a content manager as well. And the web dev team have added a manager, designer, developer. So you can see how the teams are starting to get built out as we hit those larger revenue levels and we can afford to build those teams out. In terms of operations, we now have an ops, finance, maybe a part-time HR manager. And then really critically to help us scale, we've brought on a business development to help us with leads and help us make sure we've got enough leads coming in the door. At this kind of level, the founder is still often doing the sales calls and running them, but they might have someone to help drum up the leads and automate the process a bit for them. Now, let's skip forward to the fifth and final year. This is where the business has made the jump successfully to a $5 million business. That's doing over 400K a month. You can see the CEO founders drawing 300K from the business and you know, it's a really competitive wage. And this is the levels where the founder may want to build themselves out completely. You can see the departments are now fully formed. SEO has a full team, PPC has a full team, Socials has a full team, and the web dev team is fully built out. They may still have subcontractors. They may still have freelancers underneath them. And this is really common where they might have an offshore team to help, you know, for overflow and help them with certain things. But this is kind of the full-time Australian-based payroll staff, what I'm talking about here. You can see the account manager team's being built out and also, you know, the operations of the business has been built out. They've got a full-time CFO now. They've got a finance manager. They've got a bookkeeper. You can see that, yeah, all the departments are a lot more built out. 
That is still taking up 54% of revenue. So you can see we're still within our benchmark and that gives us a really nice profitability number. So that's one way to look at trying to build out your team. And you can see all of that is summarized here in year one through to year five. And the interesting part is you can see we had a decent margin at the start. Around year three, our profitability suffered as our wage bill increased. And then as you scale up, it gets a bit better. And that's the general story on the business growth curve. If you found this interesting, feel free to get in touch and stay tuned for the next video where we'll cover a bit more in depth how to plan for the next hire and how to think about it. Thanks for watching.